Well, we welcome you to Mark and Julia's wedding. You've been honoured by their invitation to share in this most anticipated moment as they commit themselves to each other as husband and wife. Mark and Julia's wedding by their own wish is not just a social event with a garnish of religion or tradition's sake, but is a service of worship in which God is acknowledged as creator, as redeemer, as friend. You are invited then to share in this time of worship in the presence of God. And if you are married, don't miss this opportunity to give thanks to God for your own marriage and perhaps to renew the vows that you may have made some, dis- some time ago, here being made for the first time by these two whom we love. Married or not, we should all be in prayer that God's richest blessings may be marked and Julia's daily experience as they share their life together as husband and wife. Mother of the Bride, Sue, was going to read us some verses from Psalm 139. Thank you, Sue. You chart the path ahead of me and tell me where to stop and rest. Every moment you know where I am. You know what I am going to say even before I say it. Say it, Lord. You both proceed and follow me, Lord. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to know. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you're right there. If I go down to the place of death, you're right there. If you go down to the place of the dead, you are there. If I ride the rings of wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me, and your strength will support me. This is the word of God. And many of the Psalms are objective statements of worship of the God who made us, and who redeemed us, and who loves us. A particular Psalm also reminds us that God is acquainted with every intimate detail of our life, and in fact is present here with us now and shares in our joy and expectation of this day. Let's pray together in prayer as we come in worship this afternoon. Lord God, we thank you that you are a God who made us and who loves us. God who has proved his love for us in the life and the death of Jesus, and by his resurrection provides us with gifts for new life, new beginnings, and equipping us for eternity. Lord God, you know us from beginning to end. Nothing is hidden or a surprise to you, but we take delight to uncover each of the days that you have planned for us. And so we come with delight to this day, to this moment. Thank you, Lord, for your presence with us. Thank you, Lord, for your love for us. As we come together with joy and in excitement, we come also to acknowledge you and to worship you and ask that you would bless us here this afternoon and all the days that belong to Julie and Mark in their life together. We give you a grateful praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Mark and Julia, you will love for each other. And your decision to share your lives together has brought you here before God, your family, and your friends to join your lives in marriage. God designed marriage as an intimate partnership of a man and of a woman who are united in heart and mind and body and will. Marriage is a union for life and it should only be made where trust and love, faithfulness and honour are openly embraced and shared. It is God's design that you should love one another, care for each other, and be faithful to each other throughout your lives. It is also his design that children born of your love should be brought up in the security that their parents are committed wholeheartedly and unreservedly to each other. Thus their lives will be enriched and our whole society be strengthened. I remind you too that in the scriptures, marriage is an illustration of the greatest relationship of all, that between Christ and his people. And just as Jesus loves the church and gave his life for it, 
So the love shared between a husband and wife is to be a costly love without limits. Just as the church is to submit to her Lord, so the husband and the wife are to submit to each other, fulfilling their partner's need ahead of their own. Before you share the vows of marriage with each other, listen carefully to this word of God from you from the Old Testament from Ecclesiastes chapter 5. Guard your steps when you come before God. Do not be quick with your mouth or hasty in your heart to make a promise before him. And when you make a vow before God, do not draw back from it. Do not let your mouth lead you into sin and do not protest, my vow was a mistake. God has no pleasure in fools. Much dreaming and many words are meaningless. Therefore, stand in awe of God. Well, this is an emotional day. You have dreamed about it, and you've planned for it, and now it has finally arrived. And it stands as a doorway to a growing shared love and all the promise that the future has for you. If ever an occasion was designed for the full force of your emotions, then surely this is it. But do not enter into your marriage with only your emotions. Make your vows gladly, with reverence for God, with respect for one another, and with the full understanding of their implications. Therefore, before God, your family and friends, I ask you to indicate that you understand the vows that you will make, and to declare your intention to embrace all the responsibilities that your full commitment to each other will require of you. So Mark, if you will say these words, phrase by phrase, after me, and then I'll ask Julia to commit the same. Actually, it's the wrong way around. You, you, you can go first here. Mark, I have chosen you to be my husband. Mark, I have chosen you to be my husband. Not only with all my heart, but my mind and will. Not only with all my heart, but with my mind and will. I will make my promises to you before God. I will make my promises to you before God. Asking him in his grace. Asking him in his grace. To keep me faithful to them and to you. Keep me faithful to them and to you. I will love you. I will love you. Comfort you. Comfort you. Honor and protect you. Honor and protect you. And forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Be faithful to you. Be faithful to you. As long as you live. As long as you live. Julia, I have chosen you to be my wife. Julia, I have chosen you to be my wife. Not only with my heart. But also, my mind and will. but also my mind and will. I will make my promises to you before God. Asking Him in His grace to keep me faithful to them and to you. I will love you, I will love you. Comfort, you. comfort you, honor and protect you. And forsaking all others, be faithful to you as long as you live. As Mark and Julia become husband and wife, they leave their separate family units and a new one, their own, is created. This is as the scripture requires. Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 reads, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united with his wife, and they should become one flesh. Through their marriage, Mark and Julia will form a new family unit with a primary responsibility to each other as their parents give them their blessing and as they establish their own intimacy and relationship in the years ahead. So to the parents then, I ask these questions to you. Jeff and Sue, do you give your blessing to Mark and Julia as they become husband and wife? Mark's dad, Scott, is not able to to be here today, you do well, Pal, but he's watching at home by a webcam, and we greet you, sir. Denise, do you give your blessing on behalf of Scott and yourself, and Mark and Julia? And all of you, family and wider friends, will you, with their parents, give them your love and your support, and support them in your prayers? And by your friendship, your actions, and your attitudes, Will you help create the climate in which their marriage will grow in maturity? In affirmation, would all of you please stand? I'm going to ask you if you could lead us in a 
prayer before the vows are exchanged. Thank you. Let's just join in prayer and commit them to each other and uh, pray God's blessing on Mark and Julia. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for your gift of love and that Mark and Julia have with joy, full and in love, and now stand here, willing to commit themselves to each other as husband and wife. May they know you in their practical experience and learn of your provision for them each day of their life together. Lord Jesus, guest of the wedding in Cana, an honest, honoured guest with us now, may Mark and Julia be touched by the breadth and depth of your love, so that the love that they have for each other may be patterned on the love that you have for them. Grant that they may learn to serve each other, being patient and kind, forgiving each other as you forgive them. Holy Spirit, powerfully work in us. Grant them the capacity to mould themselves to each other. May the bonds between them grow in beauty and in strength, sufficient for all the varied circumstances of life. May their marriage make their marriage a blessing to them and their home a blessing to others. Almighty God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, hear our prayer on behalf of these two people whom we love. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Well, Julia, you've got rid of the flowers. Time for the vows. Mark and Julia have um, written these vows for each other, and so they come to share them with us, with them primarily, but with us all now. I can go first. Symbol of my love for you, and as the sign of life's of the command of oh, <laughs> and as the sign of the commitment I have made to you today. And would you say to Mark, Mark, I receive this ring as a symbol of your love and faithfulness to me. No, I'm just <laughs> the <first room. laughs> there you go. Having retrieved the ring, would you place that on Mark's finger? Mark with all that I am. Mark with all that I am. And all that I have. All that I have. I honor you. I honor you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a sign of the commitment. And as a sign of the commitment. I have made to you today. I have made to you today. Julia, I receive this ring as a symbol of your love and faithfulness to me. Mark and Julia, you have before God, your family and friends, committed yourselves to 